Hello there and welcome to another Wolves Wednesday. This time I'm going to be talking and doing the Express and Star poll on the Wolves season. It's on the Express and Star website and it's open until tomorrow so if you want to have your say then you can head on over to that and the results are going to be published in the newspaper on Friday the 26th of May. As you can see I'm wearing one of my favourite Wolves kits. Find out what my other top Wolves kits are you can watch video on that up there. So let's get into it. Are you satisfied with Wolves final league position? All in all, yes. There's not much scope there for opinions. I think all in all, we're probably where we expected it to be. Probably at the start of the summer when we didn't have many players, relegation was certainly on the cards and the fact that we haven't been relegated is probably a success. Who's been your player of the season? I think I've spoken at length about how I like David Edwards, but I think consistency and the effect he's had on the team, Helder Costa, has got to be my man. Are you happy with the job being done by Paul Lambert? <laughs> Difficult one. I think he could have done better, but given the transitional season, I'm going to go for yes. Do you want Paul Lambert to still be in charge at the start of next season? Undoubtedly yes. I think he needs to be given a fair shot. What was the main reason why Wolves didn't reach their aim of the top six? Um, poor recruitment, yeah. And who do you blame for not achieving top six? I don't think I can pick any one of those. I think it's got to be all of the above. They've all contributed to a failure of the season. Are you happy with the style of football? I think it's quite negative on occasion and we do exploit the wings, but overall, I don't know, we've got players to play this possession game, really. Midfield, I think we need to focus on strengthening, but also I think the strikers is what we've desperately needed for years. How many players do you think Wolves need to sign? Now, this is a tricky one because I can envisage, I mean they're quite limited answers there, one to three, four to six, or seven plus. Last season we brought in over ten in a couple of weeks. Now. I doubt that's going to be the case again this year, but we do need to considerably strengthen. Four to six, I think, would be a good amount. And then the amounts that we'd spend on them, I think it's got to be between 10 and 15 million, depending on whether or not we sell Costa. Are you happy with the job that Jeff Sheen and Fosen are doing? It's too early to tell. I think that's an unfair question. There should be a too early to tell there. Yeah, I've clipped yes, but are you happy with Kevin Thelwell? No. It's really unclear what his job is and what his job description is, uh, Kevin Thelwell, because does he recruit the players? With Mendes coming in, does that undermine him? Is he just in charge of recruiting academy players? It's really, really unclear and I'm not sure whether he is doing a good job. Are you happy with the job that Laurie Dalrymple is doing now? I think that he has done a good job as the managing director. We haven't had a managing director for a while. I think we've had, Jez Moxie was the chief executive. So it's a slightly different job to that. I'm not an expert in business by any stretch of the imagination, but they sound like different things to me. And he has said publicly that he feels that Wolves have fallen behind slightly in recent years, particularly with the Molyneux Stadium. How do you feel about Wolves' relationship with George Mendes? Well, I think that, again, the options there are not very clear. I am pleased that we're utilising his contacts. It doesn't bother me, I do have an opinion on it, but it's again, it's too early to see the influence that he's got on Fosun. Would you be happy if Helder Costa was sold for 15 to 20? Now I've clicked no here, because I don't think, you know, although we, right, if we spent, we spent 13 million on him in January, if we got 15 back for him, that's such a small return. And he doesn't seem to be particularly unhappy. If you look at his Instagram, he looks all right. He looks fairly happy. So that doesn't suggest that he's looking to leave. 20 million as well, making a seven million profit. Okay, I take that now, but I think we should be pushing. If somebody's gonna come in for him, we'll slap 25 million on him at the very least. What's the key factor in helping increase attendances at Monaco? For me, there's only one answer for this, a winning team. When the team's doing well, when the team has got something to play for, we saw the Chelsea match where there was a full house. That brings people in. You know, you look back over the recent years, the last time we had full houses and people scrambling for tickets was the end of the 2008-9 season when we got promoted. I remember having to 
buying tickets with my season ticket for family members and things like that and it was exciting and that's what gets people into the ground so a winning team is for me the main factor. The academy players I think have been great this season, the ones that we've seen, we've seen more than usual. From what I've heard, talking to people today at a football tournament down here in South Wales, people saying that you know they've taken their son and their or nephew around to different tournaments. Toughest academy, best quality of academy. This is at under 11s level, but Wolves have got a very, very good reputation and we need to take that forward now. But, you know, keep blooding these young players and making sure that they get a chance in the team because I think we've got some, I mean, Conor Roan and Morgan Gibbs White are only 16, 17. The thing about the future that they're going to have is incredible. I think it's really important and we, Wolves have got a tradition of doing that as well. We've had some good players come through our academy. Now, this was a tough one because I think all of them, Brighton and Bakari, is spoken about very highly by Paul Lambert. I've heard very good things about Donovan Wilson and Niall Ennis. Christian Herc have heard good things about him as well. We've seen Morgan Gibbs White and we've seen a little bit of Conor Ronan, but from what I saw, although he looks very young and he's very slight, the way he came on and took the game to Liverpool in that game, really impressed. He was not overawed by the occasion at all. He got stuck in, judging by the reports coming out of the club, Conor Ronan is certainly highly thought of, and that makes me excited. Really good to see now the, the fruits of the investment that Steve Morgan put into the academy and all these new, the new uh, infrastructure that he set up there. So that so perhaps it wasn't so bad after all. Are you happy with the ticket prices at Wolves? I think they're quite competitive, particularly for the younger generation. So I think I am. How long will it take Wolves to return to Premier League? I personally think two to four years with investment, but who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for Wolves related content on this channel. There's also more football related content coming up as well. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.